Hey guys, Blazing Rat here. So, you're looking to get good at Halo Infinite. Whether it's becoming the number one ranked online player in the world, or just being better than your friends. Let's waste no time and get to it. First and foremost, to all FNGs looking to get good at this game, DO NOT SKIP THE ACADEMY! I'm telling you not to skip the Academy because the tutorial teaches you a lot of basic but very important information on the game. And you can earn some achievements as well. The tutorial also acts as a prequel to the campaign if you're interested in playing that. Once you're done with the tutorial, head on over to the weapon drills. These will help you get a feel for most of the weapons in the game. I strongly recommend you try and earn 3 stars for each weapon. That will force you to try and to be proficient with each weapon. If you can't earn 3 stars on every category, that's okay. I will teach you how to use these, how I use these weapons proficiently in the next video. Now that you got a feel for most of the weapons, it's time to move over to the training mode. The training mode is amazing, which mo it mostly serves as a boot camp for FNGs like yourself, and, but it's also useful for veterans like me because this is a great place to warm up before hopping onto multiplayer. Once you've gotten the hang of the game, eventually the training mode will end up being your warm up as well. Now I'm going to emphasize a couple more things before I let you go. I'm going to teach you Halo's health system and basic understanding on Infinite's movement. Alright, Halo's health system comprises of two things, your shields and actual health. First thing you need to understand is that you're immune to headshots until your shields are broken. With the exception of sniper, sh uh, sniper shots to the head and one shot kill weapons. Once your shield is broken, you're not susceptible to headshots and your actual health is now exposed. You are very weak in this state. Just find cover and hang back. Your shields are charge, uh, will charge back in a matter of seconds, and your health will regen as well. And there you go. Now you know how Halo's health system typically works. Moving on to basic movement. I, am, I emphasize the word basic because probably, in a future video, when you're familiar with the game and ready to move to the next level, I will teach you advanced slide techniques. You'll probably see average players sliding around normally, but there are more advanced ways to using slide in this game that you're not ready for yet. Another thing to note before I teach you basic you movement is the motion down. tracker, which is located at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Keep an eye on this as this is your best friend that helps you locate enemy targets as well as friendlies. This tracks both movement and weapon usage. Okay, now let's move on to basic movement. So, you already know how to move, right? You're not a dumbass. Or, or are you? Next, a few small things to note on sprint. Sprinting obviously gets you to places faster, but that's not what I'm referring to. What I want to point out is using weapons from Sprint that have a delay from the moment you pull the trigger to the weapon actually responding. This all depends on weapon weight. The sidekick, for example, will shoot instantly from Sprint. The battle rifle being a medium weight gun has a small delay between pulling the trigger and the gun actually firing. So this is something to keep in mind. Another thing you can do from Sprint is slide. Sliding keeps you low on the ground while keeping forward momentum. Useful for initiating gunfights, as well as narrowly closing gaps from points A to B. Next thing you can do is crouch. Crouching, once again, keeps you low profiled. You move slower, but if you're within motion tracker range, enemy targets cannot detect your presence while you're moving crouched. Next thing you can do is jump. Sounds like a basic feature just like crouch, but trust me, you're going to be jumping a lot, uh, around a lot in this game. And combine this with the crouch and you'll perform a technique known as a jump crouch. This will raise your legs up to get higher places when a regular jump can't make it. For even higher elevation, you can perform what's called a clamber. Again, another basic feature, but clamber lets you grab onto ledges if you want to fully secure a jump up. You must press forward in order to perform this. Another thing to know about clamber is that you can actually cancel the animation by simply pressing back on your movement. I don't think the game actually teaches players they can do that, so there you go. This can be useful for performing fake outs in certain situations, and if you're behind cover, you can also take quick peeks over cover as well. And that's it for today's lessons. You should feel level 1 now after seeing this video. If not, watch it again. This video was meant for people brand new to Halo Infinite. Will I continue this series? I don't know. If you guys liked it and want me to keep going, I just might. But it also depends on how Season 2 of Infinite will perform. Share this video to anyone who's looking to get into Halo Infinite. And if you want to stick around, consider subscribing. Links to my Twitch and Twitter are down in the description. And until next time, peace.